Suppose that you decide to borrow 20000 for a new car. You can select one of the following loans, each requiring regular monthly payments. So installment loan A, you have a three-year loan at 7%. And then installment loan B is a five-year loan at 9%. Find the monthly payments and the total interest for loan A. And also do the same thing for loan B. And then you compare the monthly payments and the total interest for the two loans. Since you have the same amount of money borrowed, by just looking at the interest rate, that you get a bigger amount for B because this is at 9% interest and this one is just at 7% interest. But we wanna see the actual amount and we wanna compare that. So for letter A, use this formula here and then plug in the information. 20,000 is the amount of the loan and the rate R is 7%. Now you write 7% in decimal and that is equal to 0 0.07. And N is equal to 12 because you're going to compute for the monthly payment. So if it's monthly, N is equal to 12. The loan is for three years, so T is equal to three. Plug this into your calculator and you get 618. So that means a 20,000 loan payable within three years, the monthly payment will be 618 at 7% interest. Now to compute for the total interest, all you need to do is get the monthly payment, which is 618, and then multiply that to the number of monthly payments made for three years. So for three years, you have 36 months. So 618 times 36, and that is the total amount you paid for the loan. And then you minus the amount of the loan. So the amount of the loan is just 20,000 and the answer is 2,248. That's the total interest paid for the duration of the loan. Now let's compute the monthly payment and the total interest for loan B. We use this formula here and then we will just plug in the information that we have. Now, P is the amount of the loan. The amount of the loan is still 20,000. The rate, R, is now equal to 9%, and in decimal, that is equal to 0 0.09. We are looking at monthly payments, so therefore we are doing 12 monthly payments per year. So that's why this is 12. The duration of the loan is five years. Plugging into this formula, you would get 415. For five years, you have a slightly lower monthly payments, but this is for five years. That means to say that you're making 60 payments in total. If you want to count the total interest for the loan for five years, calculate the total amount you paid for the duration of the loan. That is for five years. So 415, this is your monthly payment times 60 and then minus the loan amount of 20,000 and you get 4,900. That is the interest that you paid for the loan. So now comparing this to at the three year loan at 7%, the monthly payment is 618. While for the five-year loan at 9%, the monthly payment is just 415. Well, because this is for over five years. But then if you compute for the total interest paid, this is 4,900. And here for the three-year loan, it's just 2,248. Interest is more with a longer term loan. Yes, because it keeps on earning interest. But the monthly payment for a longer term loan is lower than a short term loan.